All right, everyone, this is how you install a tap coil rear coil buffer. All you're going to need is obviously your, your spring, the rear coil buffer. I use a chopstick, but you can use anything flat that will fit in the spring, and some channel locks. Okay, to start, come a little closer. What you're going to do, you can just do this by hand, is you just pull down the spring by hand, and you can pull these apart and this little piece comes off. Now be careful when you let go, the spring doesn't go flying across the room, so just hold on to the bottom. There we go. So you pull the spring completely off, and on the inside you're going to have two uh, guide rods. The first one here will separate at the front. You just pull this apart, comes right off. Now you take your recoil buffer and put this to where the flat side is out towards the front of the gun and this angled side goes right to the back here. Push this all the way on and you're going to, if you can see there, if you, you don't just leave it like that, it will actually kind of push into place. So push it forward. Now it's on there good. Take this second rod, open it up, put it back on. And now putting on the spring is kind of the hard part where the uh, chopstick comes into play. So I just put hold on to it here, put it back on the spring, let it feed all the way down through, push the spring up. Now if you can zoom in here closer. What we're doing with this chopstick is I'm trying to get it to where it's, <laughs> it's holding this second guide rod down. So put this in on top of the second guide rod, kind of wedge it in there. This way you don't need two people and you can uh, do this all yourself. Put this upside down. Now you pull the spring down on top of the guide rod. Take the channel locks, open it up, lock it on. Take the, take the wedge out with the chopstick. Now you need to pull this down a little further, about 3-4 inches total, in order to get the top piece back on. So you pull this down with your hand, put the channel locks on about 3 inches down. Now you pull this apart here, you can see the, how it curves in, put this top piece back on. There's little holes right on either side there, you can see the holes where it fits in. Put these right together. Oh, there we go. These together. Now you take the locks off. Okay. Now on top here, you see how mine fit perfectly. Sometimes when you put these back together, the spring is off to the side. You need to make sure the spring is seated completely around like that. Now you're ready to go. Just install the spring back into your gun. And you're all set.